so the pre-made lasagna sheets did work. I mean, I did make a lasagna, right? They were tasty, but not quite as tasty as I would like them to be. I just would like it a little bit better. So I figured I'm gonna try to make gluten-free lasagna sheets. It can't be that hard, or is it? lasagna sheets. Well, all the pre-made lasagna sheets normally are corn flour and rice flour. So I figured that might be a good starting base. And you know what, I actually had a really good gluten-free pasta recipe, which I did like five or six years ago, and I forgot to record it. Like literally, I did not record it, I did not put it in Evernote or any other kind of application, and now I'm just like... I wish I would have saved it. So I'm gonna have to start from scratch. And normally there's always a ratio between 40 to 60 percent, 60 percent of like a starchy flour, which is the cornstarch, and 40 percent of another gluten-free flour, which is not quite a starchy. And that would be rice flour. It doesn't sound very tasty though, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a different mixture. I'm gonna use 30 percent of cornstarch, 30 percent of rice, or maybe do 40% of cornstarch, 30% of white rice flour, and then I really like the taste of millet flour. So I'm gonna use also 30% of millet flour. And I'm gonna try out and see how it comes together. And from there, we're gonna make a few variations. I'm gonna measure now 30 grams of my millet flour, 40 grams of cornstarch, and 30 grams of white rice flour. And all the recipe talk about a pinch of salt and I'm gonna add one egg. Some of the recipes talk even about the egg and one egg yolk. I'm gonna mix that now with a spatula before I'm gonna start hand mixing it. I'm gonna put that now onto my mat. And the recipes often talk, you have to knead it until it's a smooth elastic dough. I honestly don't know if that also applies for gluten-free dough, since gluten-free dough doesn't have an elasticity. It's getting a little bit wet, so I'm gonna use a little bit more white rice flour. It feels pretty elastic. I do have a pasta machine, but I'm gonna roll it out. So I'm gonna use just a regular rolling pin, and I wanna roll it about a quarter inch thin, which is, I think, maybe an eighth of a centimeter. It's a very soft dough, so it's not really that hard to roll it out. It's so thin now that it's starting to break. I want to cut my lasagna sheets. I don't think they have to be perfect. I just want them to be a little bit more manageable. So I'm going to start boiling my water and I'm going to put a sample in and see how it tastes. It has this very crummy flavor to it. Ugh. Yeah, that pasta I'm gonna toss and I'm gonna wash it down with some coffee. Mm. Okay, so cornstarch is not the way to go. Okay, experiment number one, pure failure. They look good though. So I'm trying to think of what other flowers might be nice or have a similar property as cornstarch and that would be sweet rice flour, tapioca starch, so something in that word, potato starch. So I'm gonna measure now 20 grams of tapioca and I'm gonna use potato starch, 20 grams of sweet rice flour, so these are all very starchy and sticky flours. And I'm gonna add now 40 grams of millet flour. 
I'm going to mix now the app and the flour. And this flour is much stickier. But you see a little bit more how brittle it is? Because it has tapioca in it. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it and see if this makes the dough more pliable. So here I'm going to add a teaspoon of oil mm -hmm. and the dough feels now much softer. So let's try it again and see if this gluten-free lasagna sheet is a bit tastier than the last one. The water is coming to a boil and I'm going to add my new experiment. That one is really floating up. Well, that's a good sign. Okay, I'm going to fish it out now. I mean, it looks pretty good. Now, will it taste good? It might be a little bit too al dente. So, I'm going to cook it for a few more minutes. So, it feels much softer now after two minutes. And the structure is holding up really nicely. I can also cut it now with a fork. It's pretty good. I would add a little bit more salt and possibly a little bit more egg. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!